Hello, hello. My name is Nicole Thomas, and today we're going to talk about how to roll a coil. So let's get right into it. Here I have a hunk of clay that I have just wedged using the ram's head method, and here's what I'm going to do next. This piece of clay is a little bit too big, so I'm going to go ahead and just rip it in half, just like that. And now I have a smaller piece of clay. I'm going to gently start doing about two taps per side and really just working this out into a larger cylinder shape. I want my taps to be gentle because creating edges isn't really what I want to do here. What I want to do is work my clay into a really smooth, even, consistent cylinder. So once I get a few of those taps, even though it creates some sides, I'm going to come in and just give a gentle rock on one side. So just on my fingertips, I give a gentle rock. That's about 180 degrees. Now you can see this side is smooth. That side has some texture from my fingertips. So I'm going to roll onto that texture and give another gentle rock 180 degrees on that side. Now you can see the opposite side has a little bit of texture, but I'm going to go back and continue that back and forth motion. So I have my fingertips on my clay and my goal is to push down and then generate that same pressure all the way out to the edges of my coil. So doing a little bit more of a 360 degree roll, I'm coming and just bringing that pressure all the way out to the end. My coil got a little ovally and it picked up some texture. So I'm going to flip it on one of those taller sides and just rock it out on that side. Now I see it's popped up a little there. So I'm going to flip the coil where it popped up and give a little bit of pressure on the opposite side. And after a few really careful rolls, you can start to see your coil become a little bit more circular and we've spread out the material just like that. Now, if you are a beginner, at this point, I would say take your needle tool and cut this coil in half so that you can really focus on building one high quality coil. So that's actually what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna place this really good wedge piece off to the side. And we're gonna focus on making this into the perfect coil. I start with my fingertips and something that I do when I roll coils is I try and focus on rolling from the tip of my finger down to my middle knuckle and back up to the tip of my finger. I find that when I see folks rolling like that, using the whole hand, that's how they pick up the most texture on their coil. And texture is the opposite of what you want. You want a coil that is super smooth and even so that it's ready to be added to your ceramic project. So I'm gonna give this one more roll. Again, I'm meeting in the middle with my fingertips touching. I'm using my fingertips to just generate a smooth, even pressure. And I'm bringing that pressure all the way out to the edges of my coil. So this is what my coil looks like, just like that. It's not a good idea to pick up the coil or hold it or move it around because you don't want to weaken it. You wanna leave it strong because you just put your energy into rolling it out nice and even, so you'll leave it on the table and keep it that way. This is a pottery tip by Classic Clayworks. If you have any more questions on how to roll coils, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I will make sure to comment back with an answer. Thanks for being here.